a tendency to grow up, to multiply, and to multiply under the guidance. I know, we, we say, well, it's the DNA that does it. So be it. But that DNA is operating within the whole of the embryo. And watch what happens. Every stage of development is governed by the whole, so that all the parts act together so as to produce the whole adult. And at every stage of development, every part of the organism, if it's a human being, as a child, as a teen, as a young adult, as an older adult, every part at every stage is still operating for the good of the whole, and as long as it's maturing, for the good of the adult whole. Now that's not surprising. I know I'm sure biologically people will say, of course they do that. I just want you to notice the fact, though, that all the parts are acting for the good of the whole, not for themselves. That's not what you would expect to see of an individual subatomic particle. Where do you get any tendency within a subatomic particle to act for the good of an entire organism? I know they'll, they'll say, well, over 3.8 billion years, by pure chance, it's gotten to the point where it does that. It developed its own algorithm. Okay, if you want to believe that, fine. But the, the, these are your stark alternatives. The other evidence that we have, of course, is the evidence that we're here, ourselves. We experience our own unity. As uh, Descartes says, cogito ergo sum.